history and from thy kindred and from the Father's house and into a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and God went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of here. And Abraham took Sarah his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all the substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in him. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. I'm going to preach a message, and I'm going to tag this message. The power of the call. Mm. The power of the call. How many people in here love to watch Sunday best? Come on, raise your hand high. You love to watch Sunday best. I have not watched Sunday best none this year, and I'm going to tell you why. In 2010, they had the elder. Goldwater. And if you look at it, Elsa Goldwater was the closest man that ever won Sunday Mass because they've all been women. Uh-huh. And he had went the furthest. And what I learned about Elder Goldwater was when Elder Goldwater gave his testimony, uh-huh. he said that I was prophesied in my younger years that they seen my face on a CD. They prophesied to me that I will be seen. So he said he traveled from Philadelphia to Jacksonville, Philadelphia to Jacksonville, trying to make this same work. Mm-hmm. And so a week before he landed on Sunday there, a prophet prophesied to him and said, I see you with your face on a CD. Uh-huh. So then he said, now I've been prophesied this all my life. And so now I'm 79 years old. In 2010, he was 79. In 2012, now. He was 79 years old when he got a prophecy saying that they will see his face on a CD. Now he's looking at his circumstances, and when he's looking at his circumstances, he thought he'd probably just stop back and say, Man, I heard that crap before. Well, how man, I heard people prophesy to me before.
Come on. So when he, I'm in the rightful position, which is praying. He can part love in me, but I'm in the rightful position, which put me into transition again, because now I moved out of the past. Ah, and hey. I moved into the past. Hey. He made me transition, which put me in opposition, because what I got on the last week started fighting with me. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Ah. He said, you didn't know the beginning, by the way. I didn't hear that. <laughs> so in other words, that thing did full circle. So now, what I love about the whole ordeal is that the gold wire, he, 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 he gave up. He gave up. And then a week later, his kids talked to him and said, listen, they have them. They have them to try out. I want you to try out. And then he tried out. Because they were getting on his nerve. Mm -hmm. Then next thing you know, he made it in the fight. Mm -hmm. He showed up. Then he started saying that. Yes. And he broke it down. Yes. He didn't try to be like the newcomer. Uh -huh. He stayed in his own way. Amen. Yes. He didn't try to be nobody else. Amen. Uh -huh. See what it is? People trying to be somebody else. That's right. You got to understand that you got a certain kind of.
what's in it. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Mm-mm. Reason why he didn't say nothing to me because I either had to check myself for something I did out of pocket. Mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. See, when God tells you to do something, He don't care about your mom, your daddy, the Negro in the alley. He don't care nothing about you. Come on now. That word. Come on. You better preach now. <laughs> I'm going to 
man, come on. <laughs> I didn't even argue. I said, but God, you bless me. You bless me by showing me the revelation of this. Amen. So now, we look at this whole ordeal, but to sum it up, Abram, his name being father, which he had no children. Hello, somebody. That's living life as a failure. See, back then your name meant something to your destiny. Yes. Your name would meant something and it was connected with your destiny. Now, if you say I'm the father and I have no children, then that's a lie. I'm not living up to my name. Mm. Hello, somebody. Hello. Hello, somebody. Hello. I'm just trying to make sure I, 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 I talk to everybody. So then what happened was, <laughs> What we're talking about is the power in the call. Now, we already know that God called him. We already know that. But then there was a threefold issue going on because his name signifies something. And he's living life as a failure. And he's trying to do the best he can. But then yet he kept going in circles. And then he had a wife. He, he said he's five years old. And I'm sitting here going, man, I'm about to go. What's the sense? I ain't got no kids by now. What is 
Nicole. Come in, 